Your produce man, Michael Marks, is there live with a rare glimpse into this intense action. Hi, Michael. Oh, you got that right. Yeah, you guys were sleeping. This market was open. Uh, 650 people down here working. We're right now at Cook's Company. 37 trucks right behind me. They're all being loaded for five to 600 of some of the best restaurants in all of the Bay Area. Uh, Rick Tambari is the owner. He hasn't always been in produce. Uh, Rick, thanks for letting us come out to your place. I Good hope I you. didn't spill anything yet. No, no. Welcome to Cook's Company. Um, we started out in the restaurant business, so we uh, had a leg up on what people wanted, and so in 1985, back then, we couldn't get really good produce, so we started going to family farms, and now we deal with two to 300 family farms, wow. and um, all of our friends being in the restaurant business wanted to know why our produce was so much better, <laughs> and so we started selling them produce back in 85. So he has some of the coolest produce. He set some out. I asked for, I saw that he had some black Arkansas here, and I said, hey, do you have any Spitzenberg? You know, an Esposa Spitzenberg, Thomas Jefferson's favorite apple. He happened to say, yes, asked his uh, sister Mary to go get one. So uh, there's a Spitzenberg right here, one of the best tasting apples ever. Huh. Wow. So I want to know, what are some of the hottest produce items uh, for the holidays this year? Well, everybody likes uh, things that you can, like, stew and you can roast and braise. So the things that you want to use during the holidays are the things that are going to be easy for you to get to because it's cold outside now. It's, you can't use tomatoes and eggplant and peppers. You should probably use things like brassicas, like the broccoli romanesco. Hey, come on over here. Take a look at this romanesco. This is very cool. If you are a mathematician, this is your vegetable. This is a spiral in a spiral in a spiral in a thing. spiral. Yeah. Wow. It is one of the coolest things. This this was in the last Star Wars movie, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it was had a, a hit in the Star Wars. You have some fingerling. Oh, wait a second. Uh, check this out. It says Russian banana. That's a fingerling potato. But you're probably wondering, why does it say banana? Yeah. Well, we get the word banana from from a uh, uh, an Arabic word that means finger. So those are Russian fingerling potatoes. You were telling me about one of the coolest fingerling potatoes. What is it? It's right down here. Well, we have all different kinds of fingerlings. You mentioned banana fingerlings. There's French fingerlings that are actually yellow inside. And then there's amorosos. Oh, you guys got to see this. I'm we're going to cut this you, open. I'm going to let you cut one of these, or maybe I should. You, you cut it. I'm on air. They don't want to see me. All right. So Amorosos are a beautiful potato because they actually are bright red inside. Oh, I love those. And they maintain their color when cooked. So I want to talk about colored vegetables. So we're going to come back in, in uh, a little bit later on in this hour. We're going to talk a little bit more to, uh, to Rick some of the hottest fruits and vegetables for the restaurants that you're going to be eating at. Oh, I can't awesome. wait. Right? How pretty That's is that great. is for your Thanksgiving yeah. table, too. I want to find out where we can get some of those. Thanks, Michael. Time now is 526 to come this morning. Santa's biggest and brightest.